Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the grains. So first I will take a geometry. So I will go inside and I will take the file node. So I will set up the grains by using the one of the model which I have downloaded from the internet. So just I will browse the model by using this file node. So in order to browse, we need to select this option. And just we have to go to the location and select the model. So this is the object I'm going to use for the grains. So select this and click on this accept. And now the model is very big. So if I zoom out, so the model is very big. So in order to like change the size, we need to take a node called like max size. So after this, just enable. And now here in the match size, we need to enable this option called like scale to fit. So now it has been changed, but still uh, we need to rotate this object. So for that, I will take and transform node in between this. So I'll take and transform. And here just I will rotate in like X axis to minus 90. And now what the thing is, I want to set up this model exactly onto this ground level. So in the match size, there will be option like uh, justify Y. So here I will select it to minimum so that it will be exactly fitted to the ground. Still, if you want to change the size, you can uh, like increase. So let's say if I give the value to like uh, two by two by two. Okay, that's fine. Or else if you want to change the size, uh, instead of in transform, we can change the size in match size node. So if I select this match size here, you can see there is an option like my, uh, target size here let's i will give the value to three by three by three so just it will be good and also i will disable this uv so just you can select here and also we will delete all the history which has been applied to the model so for that we need to take an like clean node so i will select this in the clean node just i will enable this option like uh, remove attributes remove groups here so now we will take an grain source so for this clean node take an grain source and connect here. Now it has been converted into particles. So now in order to see it better, uh, like here you can see there is an option like display material object. So if you try select this, and here you can see there is an option like particles. So I will select it to like lead spheres. Now it has been converted to spheres. And here in the grain source, uh, if you want to increase the number of particles here, we can use this point separation. So just let's say 0 0.07 or something. So it will increase the number of particles. And now we will take an pop net. So pop network node. So connect this. And now we will go inside. And now we need to select the source node and we have to make some changes. So if you select this emission type here, I will select it to like all points. And also if I go to the birth and now in the birth tab, we need to give the expression for this impulse activation so that uh, you will get the simulation for these grains. So in order to do that, we need to give the dollar sign FF equals to one. So when we give this dollar FF equals to one, uh, it will start simulating the grains. Now in order to simulate, we need to add a node. So we need to take a node called pop grain. So this will be used to simulate the grains. So just select this and connect in between this source and Y. So after taking the pop grains, like we need to click on this play. So whenever we click on this play, nothing is going to be happen because there is no force. We need to add a gravity node to take a gravity force. And now we need to add the gravity to this pop solver. And now whenever we click on this play, see now it is going to fall down. So for collision, we need to add a ground plane. So just I will take a ground plane node and we need to take a mesh node. Mesh and select this and we need to connect this ground plane here. So in the mesh node, we need to select this effector relationship to like mutual so that it will create the collision. And now we will click on this play. See, now it has been made a collision with the ground. And also I don't want to see these guides. So if I select this source first input, we have to disable this option like guides. So now if we click on this play, so now we got this simulation. And now what the thing is, we will add some color to this uh, grain. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called pop color. So select this and after we have to connect to this after grains. And here you can see there is an option like uh, we need to change the color, but instead of this constant, I will select the ramp. And also here in the presets, we can select the sand type. So now we will get the sand type of grain color. So now what the thing is, all the grain particles have the same color. We need to create the random. So here what we can do is we can give the expression to get the random colors for each and every particle. So what I will do is just I will remove this. So ramp equals to I will 
type like random and we need to give the color id so just id and some color so after typing this see we got this random color for each and every grain and now if you select this pop grains so here you will have a particle separation so we need to link this particle separations to this grain source particle separation so what we need to do is in the pop grains we need to like right click on this copy parameters go to this and go select this grain source and right click paste relative reference so whenever we make any changes in this pop network so it will be applied to that grain source here so let's say we will give the value to 0 0.05 or something so now see it has been decreased the size of the particles and also it has been increased number of particles too so now we will click on this play okay so we got this nice simulation so now in order to get nice simulation uh, so if i select this pop solver here we can increase the minimum and maximum sub step so i will give the value to like 10 so now we will see this okay we got this nice simulation and what the thing is suppose if you don't want to spread these particles to the larger area so we need to increase this like scale kinetic so suppose see now if i go to the first frame let's say we'll just for timing i will put the value to like 0 0.01 and now see whenever we click on this play the particles are going to spread over the larger area and now if you want to decrease that so we can use this option like a uh, scale kinetic so let's say i will give the value to 0 0.5 or something and now we will see this See, now the particle grains are not going to spread in the larger area. And next, if you come down, you can see there is an option like internal collision. So in case if you don't want to create the collision between the particles, we can decrease this. For example, see if I go back and now if I put the value to zero, now it is not making any collision with each particle here. So let it be like an uh, like one. And here, if you come down, you can see there is an option like shock axis. So what, what is this thing is like, Whenever it is going to create the collision, uh, so the particles are going to be in the y direction. Suppose in case if I give the value to like x and if I give the value to zero. So now whenever it is going to be collide, it is going to slide towards the x direction. So like uh, I think we have to give the value of this shock scale power. Let's say we give the value to like 100 or something. And now see whenever it start colliding it is going towards the x direction yeah so for timing let it be like an uh, y axis and also just i will give the value to one and now if you come down you can see there is an option like clamping so this clamping is used to create the stiffness between the particles means like see suppose whenever we click on this play so now it is going to spread so if you want to create the stiffness let's say if i give the value to like one in the weight sorry one and now if you click on this play see now it is going to create the stiffness over this particle here so i will show the example suppose if i go back now and here after grain source i will add a transform node transform so select this this i will go back so let's say we will just change the y direction and this i will make some rotation towards this thing let's like say i will give the value to like 45 or something and now we will click on this play so see now it has been created the stiffness over this particle here and now suppose if you want to create the slide uh, so if i go this inside and here in the pop grains so here let's say if i go to this thing like scale to 0 0.1 or something now if you click on this play so now it is going to slide more and let's say if i give it to zero see it is going to slide so now i will give the value to default uh, so if i select this pop grains and here let it be like a zero and now what the thing is if you want to create some bouncing kind of uh, effect for this model here we can use this explicit constraint so in order to do that first we need to go back and if you select this grain source if you come down so you can see there is an option like explicit constraint so we need to enable this and now here we need to increase the search radius see now it has been connected with each and every particles 
So now what the thing is, we need to import this construct geometry in the pop network. So I will go to this pop network. And if you select this source first input and here I will select the source and emission type to like all geometry. So now we will select this pop grains. And if I come down, you can see like I will increase the weight. So now we will see this. So see now we got this nice soft body simulation. And also if you go back and if you check this, if I go back and now you can see, we got this nice uh, soft body. And also if you go inside and now see if I select this like top grains. So here uh, you can see there is an option like break constraints too. So if I enable this break constraint, now you can see it will break down. So now you can see it has been break down into pieces. Okay, so we'll make it a uh, default. So if I select this pop grains and if I come down, so just I will decrease the uh, weight and just, and if I go back in the grain source, just I will disable this thing here. So now what the thing is, we'll change the color of these particles. So here, what I will do is just, I will add a node called attribute var. So attribute warp node and select this connect here and like go inside so just i will take a node called like turbulent noise so just i will connect it to like position so now as we want the random color uh, so what i will do is just i will connect this noise to this cd like color so still we are not able to see the color so just i will go back okay we will enable this attribute warp and now we'll go inside so if you select this turbulent noise we can increase the frequency so just we can increase the frequency and also we can uh, increase this amplitude let's have we give the value to like three and after making some settings in the turbulent noise uh, so we need to take a node called like bind export so we need to select this and we need to connect here so in the bind export we need to give the name called like attraction weight so why we are doing this name because like if i go to this pop network and if you select this like a uh, pop grains and if you come down you can see then attribute name is like attraction weight so we need to link with this clamping so that's why we are giving the name to this attraction weight so now we go back so now go into the pop network and if i select this pop grains and here in the weight I will give the value to like one. So now we will select this pop color and here we have to give the expression. So let's say now I don't want to work with this expression so I can give double slash so that it will not work. So I will give the new expression. So ramp equals to head rate, attraction, weight and semicolon. So we need to give the exact name which we are given in that attribute here. And after that, uh, here in the settings, we need to change it to like grayscale. So now we got this color. And also like if I go to this particle grains, so particle suppressions, I will uh, give the value to 0 0.05 or something. And also just I will increase the value of this uh, scale kinetic so that the particles will not spread in the large area. So now we will click on display. Okay, so we got this nice sand simulation. So in the next video, we will see how to activate these grains. So see you there.